Hey guys, it's Emerson. It's Friday. Open topic. I just want to talk about having patience with people when coming out. Um, it's really hard. <laughs> you know, we know ourselves, we know our identity, and it feels so clear and true and obvious. And it's really frustrating being like misgendered or just misunderstood. Um, but I think it's important to think about like, as a, as parents, I think parents always, I, I don't know, I'm not a parent, I have no way of really knowing how parents feel, but I would imagine when someone has a child, they always kind of, you know, think about what's going to happen in their life, they think about hopes and dreams for their kid, um, they might force them on them and they might not, hopefully not, but I think we should just think about as, as young people who don't know nearly everything, um, our pers perspectives are important, but just try to think about um, what it would be like for someone else who has no idea what it's like to be trans or anything, um, to have someone come out to them and all of a sudden have to kind of like flip their viewpoint of you and it must be a little difficult. I mean, I've had, I, I've known people before and after socially transitioning, um, and, you know, for me, as someone who's trans, it's really easy to flip that because I know it's it's frustrating when people don't see you for what you want to be seen and how you should be seen. Um, so, like, when, when other people are misgendered, it's just, it's pretty much as bad as being misgendered. Like, it, my gut just twists around inside, like, so I'll never completely understand what it's like to have issues misgendering people, um, well, issues not misgendering them, um, but I think it's good to try to see things from others' point of view, and, um, I think if someone's having a hard time with, um, correctly gendering you and stuff, just maybe have a conversation with them about how gut-wrenching it is when someone misgenders you or, you know, like, don't make them feel bad about it. Just try to inform them a little more. And it's not our job to completely be informers, but with loved ones and stuff, like, it's really worth having a conversation about how important it is to you that you're seeing how you feel, you know. Um, so I'm really bad at being patient with people, um, Especially if they haven't known me for a long time, like, because then I feel like you have no reason to be, like, stuck on this identity that you see me as. But especially, like, parents and people who've known you and, like, brought you into the world and everything. Um, I think it's important to, if you can, and if it's safe to come out in the first place and everything, um, have a conversation about how you feel and how they feel and give them a chance to say how they feel because... It feels like, you know, sometimes it feels like it's only our problem, and it's not causing problems for other people in our life, but it is difficult for them to process. Um, so yeah, that's my little little piece about trying to uh, step into others' shoes sometimes and realize we're not the only ones in the world. Um, yeah, misgendering, never okay, but, you know, we have to realize that it takes a little while to get used to things. Um, one thing I would recommend to anyone you know who's having trouble um, with pronouns with you or you're, if you are going by a different name that they're not used to or anything, I'd recommend one, maybe if you have a nickname that still works. That's how mine is. Um, people still call me M because it works with Emerson. I prefer Emerson, but, you know, for, like, grandparents and stuff, it's understandable if... It's hard for them to get used to, um, especially if they don't see you a lot. Because for my mom, like, seeing me is what seems to help her realize that I'm not changing. I'm just being me, <laughs> you know? Um, and what was the last thing I was going to say? If people can just try to, like, avoid pronouns for a while until they can get a grasp on using the correct pronouns, that seemed to help um, a few people in my family. So, yeah. That's all. I'm going to cut it off. I've been rambling, and have a good weekend.